Greetings and welcome to another video on Monday 22nd of September 2019 and out of all the recipes within Shropshire Favourite Recipes by Dorothy Baldock what we're about to discuss at the moment is definitely one of my favourites and when I finally, finally get around to making some of these recipes um, I don't know when I'm going to do that yet but when I finally do uh, this one here is definitely going to be one of the uh, first ones I try making now it's called soul cakes and I should probably save this video for closer to Halloween to be honest here but at the same time, I'm rather excited about this one, so we we'll just make it now, so I don't forget about it. And I'm sure, dear viewer, you will more than likely remind me to make this video, actually, well, to make this recipe first, long before I make anything else. So yeah, remind me to do that. Remind me, someone, to actually try this recipe before I go on to try any of the others. So yeah. Soul Cakes. I just love the name. Love the name, Soul Cakes. Anyway. On All Souls Day, which is the 2nd of November, the dead are remembered, and children would go a souling. Singing a soul cake, a soul cake. Please, good missus, a soul cake. One for Peter two for Paul, and three for him, who saved us all. They would, see, they would receive, in return, a cake marked with a cross. So, that's the story behind Soul Cakes. I'm sure there's more story to it, it's just, that's all I know right now. And I think for that reason alone, for what I've just said, read to you right now, Soul Cakes is definitely going to be the first recipe I actually make from this book. So yeah. What do you need for it to make it happen? Again, read the description book, read the description box below this video to make sure you get the ingredients sorted right. So what do you need? Six ounces of butter softened. Pinch of salt. 6 ounces of caster sugar, 1 teaspoon all spice or mixed spice, 3 egg yolks, 3 ounces of currants, a pound of flour, a little warm milk. So yes, once you've got your, ingre once you've got your ingredients sorted, this is what you do. Set oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, or Mark 4. Cream the butter and sugar together in a bowl until fluffy, then beat the egg yolks. Sift together the flour, salt and spice and fold into the egg mixture with the currants, adding sufficient milk to form a soft dough. Divide into pieces and form into flat cakes. Marking each with a cross. Place on a greased baking sheet and bake for 20 minutes or until golden. If desired, a few threads of saffron can be soaked in the warm milk, straining it before use. So yes. Tell me, dear viewer, how many of you might have encountered or had soul cakes at any point in your lives have you eaten it have you tried it what was it like or is this the first time you heard about it either way let me know in the comments below and tell me what you think so yeah soul cakes soul cakes and the song goes a soul cake, a soul cake.
please, good missus, a soul cake. One for Peter, two for Paul, three for him who saved us all. On that note, I'm going to end this video here. And on the 2nd of November, when that happens, I hope everyone has a fantastic All Souls Day. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, thank you for watching. Be safe and goodbye.